Welcome to another video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use Google Drive to share images, files, folders with people, whether they be relatives or work colleagues, etc. Just show you how you can do this easily. I'm going to go ahead and click on these little squares, this little icon here, and here are all of your different Google options. So for example, I use the Google Calendar all the time. But right here is what we're looking at today, which is the Google Drive. So I'm going to click on Google Drive. And then from here, you can see here are folders that I've shared with people before. If you have a lot of stuff, you can type up here and search things, just like your regular computer, just to help you find documents. What I want to do is I want to go to New. You can see if I hit New, I can make a folder, I can make a file upload, or I can do a folder uploads. So I have all of these different options. So one thing people want to know is how they can share these with people. And that's where you go to this sharing thing here, this folder, this file upload, folder upload. So I'm going to go ahead and actually start by, there's a, there's multiple ways to do this. I'm going to show you two different ways. It's a personal preference. So I'm going to call this, actually I'll call it trip photos. So let's say you just went on a trip with a bunch of people. You can give it the name of the trip that you went on. All right, and now here I have trip photos and I can go ahead and I can drag my pictures into here. Now what I usually do is on my desktop, I actually create a folder called trip photos. What I wanna do is let's say I have iPhoto open. I'm gonna minimize this just so you can see everything. Let's say you have your iPhoto open and so let's say the trip you went on was Italy, okay? You can go ahead from your photo program can take all of these images. Once I have all of these photos selected, I can drag it into this folder on my desktop called, oops, I opened it, trip photos. So see how that little rectangle's opening up? So now all these pictures are loading into here, trip photos. I could have called this Italy, I guess, since I picked those pictures, but whatever works for you. Now, I wish there was an easier way on a Mac to load directly to Gmail to Google. Please comment below if you know a better way to do that. But just the way the operating system works on a Mac is not friendly to loading it directly to Google. The reason I put it on my desktop is because when I'm in Gmail, it's just really easy to get to these folders. So within my trip photos here, I have this. I can now take these pictures and I can select them. Oops, I forgot to hold shift. So what the easiest way to do this is hold this top one. I hit caps lock instead of shift. I'm gonna hold the shift key and select the bottom one. And I can now drop these files into trip photos, like so. And now you can see how 178 photos are loading to this file here. So that's one way to do it. You can make the folder first and then you can upload it. The way I tend to do it, and I'm gonna go back to my drive, is I will take this folder on my desktop, I will right click on it, and anytime I am sharing folders, I do this all the time, I can compress trip photos. What this does, and it moved over here, what this does is this is called a zip. So a lot of times if you download things off the internet, you'll notice it comes as a zip and then it unfolds itself as a folder with the images inside it. It's just an easier way to upload things. So you can make a folder first, load the images to it, or you can click new and you can hit file upload. From here, you can go to, I have this folder on my desktop, so I'm going to desktop, and I can pick this trip photo zip, and I can hit open. Now, that whole folder gets loaded. So instead of selecting all of the individual image files, I could just pick this trip photos. The key here was before I did it, I had to right click or control click and compress that folder. Once again, that just makes it one packages it all as one is one easy to upload piece for your computer for the computer to access i've given this about 15 minutes to finish you can see this zip isn't quite complete but all of the images that i loaded in the folder have moved so right here you can see this trip photos folder and what i can do is i can actually right click on this and when i right click there's an option to say share I'm gonna go ahead and click share, and then this should pull for my contacts. So if I start typing my mom's name, here we go, mom Ben Stencil, 
here are, she's going to be very confused later today, here are Italy trip pictures. And then I can go ahead and hit send. Now my mom has access to all of these Italy pictures. By the way, when I went ahead and added my mom to this, do you see how there's a little person icon? That means that this is shared with a person. If I click on this folder here, you can see this little icon off to the right. Here's the sharing settings and you can see how it's shared with Beck Even Stencil. I can also get a shareable link. So this is a link that I could copy and paste and send somebody that link. I'll go ahead and hit done. And then I'm gonna go back to my drive. Now that I showed you the trip photos, so this is the one where I made a folder first and added the images. I went ahead and now the zip folder is uploaded. I actually changed the name on this. It wasn't uploading and then I realized I was out of storage. I make a lot of video tutorials for clients and share them through Google Drive and that was kind of eating up my storage. So I had to go ahead and delete quite a few files so that I could fit this folder. So that's why it was stalling. I did rename it because I thought maybe that's why it was being grumpy. You upgrade your storage. If you click on this, you can see how $1.99 a month, etc. There are options, and this is useful if you're sharing things quite frequently. So here's this Italy photo zip. So this is just saying it's uploaded. Here it is at the bottom. So this is where I can do that same thing where I can right click and say share, and I can type in someone's name. So once again, I can type in my mom and say here are pictures from our trip to Italy. The reason I said she was going to be surprised earlier is because this was this trip was about seven years ago so she'd just be like why am I getting this now? Anyway so just like the other one we could hit send and now this is shared with my mom including just me and once again you can see how there's this little people thing here as well. Now that I showed you the two ways of loading these pictures, the two ways you can share them, I want to show you how it will look from the user end. So whoever you're sharing these pictures with. So if you did it with this the zipped folder, like this Italy's photos, if I double click on this, you can see how it just shows you this folder. And there's a little download icon here. I already downloaded this, so I click this download link. And then over here, you can see in my downloads folder are Italy photos. As soon as this Italy photos zipped, was downloaded, it automatically made this folder here. If my mom was using this, she could then take this folder and drag it to my desktop. My computer is going to throw up this little warning saying, hey, you already have this. I'm going to hit stop because I obviously don't need a duplicate version of that on my computer. So if you do a zip version of this, if you load it via a zipped folder, that's how it's going to look for the person you're sharing this with. If you do it with this trip photos, you can see how it shares these images here. I would like to note there's a little spot here that they can change the view to see it instead of a list is a grid of images. So once the person you sent this to, it has this album shared with them. Once again, this is how they're going to view it from their end. If they want to download it, they can click on this little triangle here and click the download button. This is going to go ahead and download an entire download the entire folder. I'm going to go ahead and stop that because I don't want it to download all those pictures. The other thing that's nice about this is if they want, they can just scroll through this and say, oh, I just want this picture here, and they can download individual pictures. Do note that when you download the pictures, I'm gonna go ahead, you can see this over here. I'm gonna click this show and finder. It's just outside the screen, but it says show and finder, and you can see how this image is here. And then whoever whoever is downloading them, whether it's you or someone else, they can drag it to their desktop and then put it wherever they want on their computer. So this is just the view between the two options. So on this My Drive, you have the trip photos and you have the Italy photos as a zip. If you do it this way, you have to make sure that you create a folder first and then add your images to the folder. If you do it as a file upload, you just need to compress this folder. Once again, right click and compress this folder. It is very much a personal preference between which way you, which way you want to do it, but this is how you can share pictures with friends and other people. And once again, just look at this little person thing. That little person thing is showing you, hey, this is shared with somebody else. Anytime you see those little people, you can go ahead and share that. If you hover over that, you can also see the share settings. So if you forgot somebody, you can type in a new name or you can send an email out to people with this sharing link. 
Enjoy sharing your pictures with others. Google Drive is a great way to share not only pictures, but other documents as well. There are lots of other videos on YouTube. If you have questions for me, please post them below. And once again, come back to my channel so you can see other tutorials that I create.